I want to now invite Mrs. Grassa Michelle to, to come forward and offer us both a short response and a reflection, closing remarks, as it were. Mam Grassa needs a little introduction to either local or global communities or audiences. She, she's a tireless activist for the rights of women and children, has taken leadership positions for many years, both locally and internationally, and walked hand in hand with Madiba in the last phase of his life's long walk. She has supported the annual lecture faithfully year after year since inception. Uh, and whenever I say to her, thank you, mom, she says, that's my obligation, mom. This was really the lecture of the 20th time. Mia, welcome home. Welcome home. It would have taken to be a daughter of Africa, as you quite rightly defined yourself when you were delivering the inaugural lecture to Kofi Annan. Yes, our ancestors cross the ocean where now you reside. You came home at the right time, absolutely the right time. You talked about crisis, many crises, which I don't want to repeat because I don't want to dilute. There's one crisis which you didn't mention out of uh, humility. It's the crisis of leadership. Globally, I'm talking of crisis of leadership globally. I'm so proud that it has to be an African child, a woman leading what you would say is a small country, as if countries are measured according to the numbers of people or according to the dimension of, of its territory. But I think it's symbolic. It is an African child, a woman from a tiny country who in this global crisis of leadership, she rises, she rises, and she talks to the global community, to the global community, to the human family, and say, Yes, there is a crisis, or there are many crises, but I'm here, I'm ready to lead, and to tell the truth to all of us. Mia, you spoke to us, I want to start with us. You spoke to us, and you reignite our agency our responsibility for our own future. It's not anyone else who's going to build it for us. And you reminded us that yes, as it sounded impossible to dismantle apartheid, it is these people and it is these Africans, it is the global South, then it's the global family which were able to do it. Now you are telling us Yes, 
we have a leader. If many of us had a doubt, we have a leader. She is our own, but she is global. So, we want to thank you because you remind us of uh, our own strengths. But we want to thank you and to tell you that from here, yes, take the bold leadership, the courage, the deep sense of justice, the ability to make complex issues, but to make them very palpable to ordinary citizens, as we were able to listen this afternoon. Take this leadership. You were talking about the baton to us. But you came to take the baton from Lube, from Adiba. Yes you'll be much more emboldened to know you carry them with you as you have to lead the global south first to be able to claim its space, its rights, but also to claim that it takes us to liberate even those who are our oppressed. So, it is symbolic that you would have to come here, educate us. But it's symbolic that you came to take even more strength and the I can't even talk about your brilliance of your mind, but to be emboldened to say these struggles of this 21st century has the Madibas, but the Madibas are in the face of a woman and in the voice of a woman. Yes, I'm speaking also to many girls sitting here in front of us, this sister of yours is telling that yes, part of the leadership which is lacking, it is a female leadership. Female leadership. And take it from me, take it from me as your mother. Yes, the liberation struggle has the symbols, the biggest symbols which come now are made. And this one, this second liberation in which we go to, uh -uh, we need much more female faces and voices. Stand up, be counted. Why? Because it takes the combination of the mind and the heart to articulate difficult issues, but then to make it sound so clear to everyone. We need many more meals. And you have to stand and be counted. I want to sit down because my point was not to make comments to the brilliant, brilliant lecture you have given. I decided I want to really pay tribute to you as an African and to Africans. I said I needed to emphasize that no one is small, is too small to lead. And to say in that leadership, 
you need to count in every single one of us as we did it in the past and then to articulate to make such movements that everyone will have to be shaken and everyone will have to transform everyone has to accept yes there is a possibility and that possibility she articulated very very clearly so Hello, South Africa. <laughs> Hello, Africa. Hello, Global South. It's time for Global South to lead. Hello. The Northern South is time to listen. And hello, human family. We only have one planet. We don't have two. And we have the ability to save it. And we were told how we can do it. Yes. Thank you, my, I usually say, thank you, my baby girl. <laughs> thank you, my baby girl. You make us so proud. But be sure. Be sure, you have many of us as your soldiers. We'll be behind you. We'll learn the lessons. We'll articulate it as you do, as at our level, of course. But yes, we took the message, we listened. Yes, we will be at your side or even behind you because this is exactly the second generation of liberation we are going to. The decolonization she talked about. This new and one liberation which needs now every one of us to take responsibility and to accept another saying of Madiba. It sounds impossible. Thank you.